All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? Now, I want to say I'm not the biggest fan of Model Red, but I thought if I was going to play it today, I wanted to play it a bit different, and that brought me to Urbrask. I wanted to see, does it actually fit a version of Model Red that's still any good, and what do we have to do to make it good? So let's go take a look at what cards we're going to be playing with today. As a reminder, if you want any of the cards you see in today's deck or any other nerd stuff, check out CoolStuffInc.com. Use code DRAGON at checkout. It will save you 5%. And remember, they always have cool stuff in stock. Now, I'm not going to go over the deck too much because it is mono red, but we do want to highlight Urabrask. Urabrask is actually doing a lot here. Just being a 4-4 first striker for 4, which is huge. And then anytime you play an instant or a sorcery, you'll get a mana back. And you're also going to deal 1 damage to an opponent. So this is actually cool. You get a lot of value every time you play a spell. But the thing is, this means we need to play a few extra instants and sorceries if we really want to take advantage of this. So, obviously, other than our burn spells, we're going to try Rouse Reinforcements. This is actually a really cool card that gets us a couple of creatures, which is awesome. So we have some stuff to block and allows us to keep attacking or just keep the pressure up if we want to. Not super exciting, but it does have a cool benefit here since we are playing Urabras. Also, we're going to be playing Reckless Impulse. Again, if we're under Urbrask and we're trying to get those extra triggers, then we want to go ahead and be able to draw extra cards. So this is another way we could do that. We're going to play Chandra, which isn't really a thing as far as helping Urbrask, but it does do consistent damage and can help us dig for cards so we have more fuel for Urbrask because we want more spells. Additionally, one of those spells we're going to be playing is Furnace Rains. This is going to help us against things like Obliterator, maybe even Shieldred, just big problematic things that are in the way really could be big here and because it's another spell we can get some damage off of that Urabras. and because we're going to be playing a few extra spells over what recent mono red decks look like we're also going to be playing kinra spell spear because it does have prowess so every time we play a spell it's going to get a bonus can't be too upset at that otherwise the deck's going to mostly look like you expect most red decks to look like but if you want to see the full deck list, we'll have it at the end of the video because we'll make some changes based on what we learned and from what we play today. But you can also get the downloaded list down below. Just look for the blue arrows. It'll take you to our Moxfield link. And not only can you get today's deck, you can see all the other decks we play throughout the season. For now, though, y'all strap yourselves in because we're going to play some fast red games, I'm sure. And then I'll catch you on the back end of the video and we'll talk about that deck list. Okay, we're going to keep this. This is a strong start. I'm almost never the mono red player. I think this is only the second time I've played mono red in like, geez, I don't know, months, it feels like. But we'll see. We need another land for Urabras. That's really what this is all about is can we make Urabras work? We've played Urabras in other lists, but uh, haven't really put them to the test here. Um... Let's do this. Oh, that's a shame. We're going to lose that Chandra. Opponent says GG. I don't think it's quite GG yet. But maybe. I don't know. If we're brass sticks, we'll see. I might have to just play Chandra next turn. The spell speaker's nice, but actually, hold on. Hmm. Play Chandra, and then we get to play the spell speaker anyway. We could just plus one. Uh, sorry, player. Then we get to play this. And we get to attack. Alright, so this turned out to be a pretty strong hand anyway. Didn't get to use Urabras, given that we have it available. But the opponent is at 8. Could play something of significant size here. We know we can get them down to 7. At least 3 gets through. So we'll assume they're at 4. And we'll have to figure out the rest after that. Alright. Probably gain life here if I were them. And then have two 3-3s. Three That's not too shabby. Let's go digging, I think. Since they're gaining life now. Hmm. Well, that didn't matter. 
<laughs> that was completely pointless. Um, we're gonna attack with this. Maybe Felden? Felden only lets us pick a card, though, but that's fine. Whoa, they just let it through. They wanted their life that badly. I don't blame them, though. It's actually kind of a smart plan. Don't put the Gallagher at risk if you don't think... I mean, they took a chance that I didn't have four burn damage or whatever, but this is pretty big for them right now. You're going to get to gain four life and go to eight. Uh, you're going to need me to do something huge with Urabrask here. I was kind of hoping they would have blocked with Felden last turn to give us the opportunity to put something into our hand that we could cast. So, uh, not doing great at the moment. Opponent's at eight. Don't know how we're going to overcome that just yet. But we'll see. We do have Urabrask as a first striker. So that's something to keep in mind here too. But boy, we would love to find something good here. That is not it. Ugh, that sucks. Alright, we gotta dig here. That's pretty strong. Okay. Uh, actually, I probably should have played the Swift Spear first there. I was a little quick on the trigger there. Hmm. Did not find another spell, though. That is unfortunate. Dang. Dang, da dang, 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 dang. End of my next turn. So I could play this and kick this if necessary, but it's not good. Oh, my goodness. I think we just play it. Because I'm going to want all my mana for Urbrask, I'm assuming. So, no attacks here. We're just going to hope Urbrask gets to do something next turn. I mean, that's the only way we're getting out of trouble here. I mean, they're going to end up with a whole pile of stuff. So, we're going to have to go burn damage up top. I think is the only way we're getting out of this. At least if we flip Urbrask, it's going to be worth three damage. But, we need Chandra to hit a card and or maybe hit another spell off the top. And probably even has to be another, like, Reckless Impulse or something. Yep, that's a good call. If I were them, I'm probably just taking the life. Yep. There you go. More counters. All right. This is kind of it for us. This is the turn. We need to hit almost perfect cards or we can't even win. I think our problem was drawing too many lands in the process of all this. Lightning Strike probably isn't enough. Actually, I know it's not enough. So, I mean, we got to go digging again? Not there. Ugh, that's tough. That is tough. Alright, I guess we go ahead and flip this. I mean, we can attack with Felden. <laughs> See if they give us three cards and if the three cards matter? Oh, that's not great, but it's something, right? Okay. Oh, and they block with a thing we actually get to kill, so that's cool. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, they weren't even good. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's brutal. I mean, I think we're still on a similar plan, so I think I'm going to take the Swift Spear. Because that's the only way I'm going to end up with something. Hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I would take five mana for me to even get the Reckless Impulse. Even though I'd get a mana back, I'd still only have two to work with. I'd cast this, get one back. 
I mean, maybe there's a way. All right, I'm going to take the adversary. He says, uh, choose until the end of my next turn. Okay, end the turn. Kind of like the only thing we can do. I mean, we could, if we get the right cards, we could minus Chandra so we deal extra damage. But I mean, they're probably going to flip Vorinclex here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. They do have the mana to do it. All right. They're not going to flip Vorinclex here. They're just going to go for more life and whatever, which is probably still the safe play because I can't punch through their board currently. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think I just have to minus Chandra, play the adversary, hope to do as much damage as we can do. Like, I don't know. This is going to be tough. This is going to be real close. Oh, that hurts. That sucks for us. Yeah, fortunately, they don't have trample or anything. My opponent's doing their thing, though. Their deck's doing what they're designed to do. All right. I'm going to play another... They must have just drawn that Gallagreters. But they're tapping some creatures down here. All right. And f remove one of the Reckless Impulses. Didn't get our other one. Yet. All right. What do they want to do here? Attacking with the cats. Uh, truthfully, our plan has nothing to do with attacking them. We're going to have to get all direct damage, so I'm willing to just chomp block with a couple of things here. Really doesn't matter to us one way or the other. I mean, this is all about getting lucky here. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. They're still going to do other things? Oh, they're discarding. Alright, so Kinzen we probably are going to need for mana. So, here's hoping. It's all got to be here. We're just dead anyway. Okay, so we got a Reckless Impulse. Which is going to get us mana back. A bunch of triggers here. Uh, target the opponent. We're just going upstairs. Alright, play a land. We're going to play... A lightning strike? That gets a bunch of triggers. I think we might have got there. Then we can play this lightning strike. And opponent says GG. Wow. I don't know how we got we. Whoo. This was. Wow. Okay. We're taking that. Oh. This is a bad keep. But I'm going to do it anyway just because I have a reckless impulse. Let's see what this can do for us. All right, well, we found more land, which is absolutely what we didn't want. Wow. <laughs> well, hey, at least we're not stuck with just those, right? We would have been drawing those otherwise, so I guess it's not the worst thing. All right, cut down on that means maybe this doesn't get cut down not that it doesn't die to other things i probably actually i should have played the uh, foundry there there's a good chance we're not going to have anything else to even attack with here go for a throat sure jeez uh, now i'm being punished because i definitely could have attacked with the foundry there or an overbrask would have been nice Yeah, I don't think as a red deck, we're going to win drawing this many lands. Wow, have we drawn... Well, we drew a Kenra, I guess. Alright, well... We're setting this up to die, but what can we do? I 
I mean, you gotta cut down, you gotta cut down. Oh, an infernal grass. They're going heavy on the removal. Alright. And the turn. Hey, look, an actual spell. Assuming this is going to get killed too, because I think the opponent's just playing removal at this point. Yep. Alright, you got it. The funny thing is, they probably think we're sitting on all these burn spells, and the reality is, like, we have a singular, and I don't even want to waste it on that. They can just have the card. Us taking three damage doesn't really make a huge difference there. Oh my gosh. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's any way, I mean... Maybe, since they're doing damage to themselves, but they're also drawing just more removal, so... Yeah, alright. GG's. I mean, we didn't do anything that game. That was terrible. We'll keep it. I think I'm gonna go with this. Usually, I would say when we see that, it's a sign that it's some type of uh, Selesnya enchantments or whatever. But, we'll see. Well, both those come into play tapped. And they didn't have anything there, so that's kind of good. Unfortunately, I don't have anything special to follow with. So, these are going to get in... I'm going to go ahead and shoot the opponent here so we get to scry. All right, we'll keep that. In the turn. All right, what do we got? Beast Caller, sure. We're going to go ahead and kill the Beast Caller. Much as I want to kill the Wormlet. We're going to go here. Attack. Wow, just straight up blocking. So they didn't have any real value to gain from that. Unless they're just going to sweep the board. Nope, there's a veteran. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to do it. We'll just steal their veteran. And then we attack. Put a counter here. Alright. That was a quick one. Sure, let's do it. Oh, that time I actually should have led with Swift Spear. Because I didn't realize I had play with fire. Because I could have had both options on the next turn. That is a bad thing. I should have done that differently. But, now that we didn't, we're going to go with this. So, if they have a lightning strike, they have to waste it on that next turn. Which, they very well might. Because I would consider it if I were them. Yep, and I ain't mad at it. We're a land away from our Urubras dreams. You know what? I'm going to go with this and this. I'm like, let's get it. Alright, I was going to say, man, they might sneak us with a squee there, but they didn't. Wow, they had the burn heavy hand. And a phoenix chick on top of it. Okay. We did find our land, so hopefully they can't deal four damage to a thing. Fire 
Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. Alright, I guess we need to kill Koth. Was not part of my plans, but here we are. I will never stop fighting. Though, you know, in a weird way, I could have attacked Koth and either used this on the Phoenix chick or use it to target the opponent. And it would have been better getting to Scry, actually. So I think I played that all wrong. For sure. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Alright. And not the card we were really hoping to draw, but it is damage. Opponents at 8, they go to 7. Alright, let's see if we have enough to get it done. I mean, we do have a play with fire in the yard, so if we were to get another adversary, we wouldn't quite be able to kill them. This is a thing, though. All right, we'll pass. Okay, actually, hmm. Opponent's at seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. So if we just block and trade, we'd only be able to get in for two, four. If we block Felden, then we force them to find a room three, four, five. Uh, they would have three shots at finding even a play with fire. That would kill us. Or a lightning strike. But if they don't, well, they'd have a creature they could block with too. Dang, this is a rough one. But either way, we're still like two, three, four. I mean, we're we're still in a bad spot, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Like, I don't love it, but if we're gonna die to a lightning strike or something anyway. Like, here you go. Alright, well. <laughs> yep. There you go. That's gonna get us. Cause we'll just die during the next attack step. Yep. You got it. That is not going to be nearly good enough. Alright, let's try it. This hand is really just typical mono red here. Which, on the one hand, kind of boring. Other hand, kind of good because the opponent won't know some of the other cards we're playing, which is kind of neat. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and play this here. Because then that gives us the option of playing Swiss Spear and Lightning Strike if we need to, or getting multiple versions of, of two spells in play next turn. Uh, we will definitely kill that. Because that's important. And then we'll save the Lightning Strike, because there's more things that are three toughness in that deck that we'll want to kill. Especially the uh, angel that can gain life, steal Seraph or whatever. And, there, and there's one right now. A little bit of shame because we kind of want to play Aura Brass, but if we can't, we can't. So we shoot that, we get him for six, opponent goes to four. We still won't be able to finish them on the following turn. And we did actually draw the land for Urbrask, which is pretty cool. Alright, getting in there. Alright, opponent's down to four. I guess at least if nothing else, we can activate a land and just attack with everything if they only have one blocker. So it's not pretty, but it's typical red deck win. Yep, we'll take it. Alrighty. 
This is as good as anything, I guess. Hopefully they don't have any sweepers. Because <laughs> that's definitely one way we die. Though drawing the uh, Mishra's Foundries against a blue-white deck is actually usually not bad. Oh, it's not just a blue-white deck. Look at that. Ah, this is a little tough, because I'm... I kind of want to play Chandra here. Hmm. But I wonder what their burn spell of choice are. I'm going to go with this. Okay, they didn't counter that. So they have some type of kill spell. Oh, Soul Partition. That's fine. Okay. I don't mind that, because it does give us another thing. Though means that Chandra could have very well gotten Soul Partitioned. Alright, I'm going to go with this. With the assumption that if they have a Sweeper, fine. We're just going to play Chandra next turn anyway. Alright, well that's the way I gain a bunch of life. Wow, deck, really? That is super unfortunate. All right, I guess we'll try this. Don't have a dissipate? Or I guess a negate would have been bad too. Listen, pal, I'm with the gate watch, so you might as well give up already. Uh, might as well try. We got mana going to waste over here. Attacking. All right. We did our part. I guess they have another union. Nope. Scrutiny for one. All right. There's a sunfall. Can we find a burn spell? We cannot. So we're going to activate. Play a land. Chandra's going to dig, because that's the only way we can win here, I think. Oh, it was another foundry. Ugh. All right. Still need a burn spell off the top. Man, we had our chance. Couldn't do it. I can pay, attack Chandra. I mean, I guess I should have taken the safe spell. Spot and just shot the opponent because they didn't have a quick way to kill Chandra. And now I could end up a point short, potentially. Nope. Okay. We got there anyway. Let's do it. Open with Kamano faces Kakazan. I think here, because we already have four lands, we probably are just going to lead with Spell Spear. And if one of those ones, like, if it dies, it dies. They're probably looking to play creatures there anyway. Though it does have Death Touch, and that's a little bit annoying. But we do Trample, so we'll get some amount of damage in. Assuming they don't just have a kill spell here. Oh, wedding announcement. Well, they get the chump block with those all day. Not much we're going to do about that. Okay, that's a thing. Shoot the opponents. I'm going to go with this. Oh, awesome. Love to see that. I mean, they might just have another one, but that's okay. That means Chandra is very likely good to go here. Shielded, though. Annoying. I was just thinking we could steal a Shieldred. That would have been cool. Uh, nothing good in the yard to play. So what are we looking to do here? Are we going to minus Chandra? Yeah, why not? Come on, 
Okay. You know what? That works. Not how I was looking for this to go down, but we ain't complaining. And yeah, we're going to attack. If they want to give up both tokens, we would not complain about it. And had another shielded. Well, okay then. You got it. Unfortunately, Shieldred is now a six. So that becomes a real problem. Uh, Kenra Spell Spear. Play a land. Play Felden. Um. Yeah, we'll attack. All right. Wow, none of those were what we were hoping for. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. So bad. And Liliana. All right, we're dead. We're not coming back from that. Okay. Did find a furnace range. I like having that. But this is a fairly pedestrian start, but we'll see. Alright. Conscript. Sure. Attack for one. Yep, he gone. Come on, untap land. Kind of want to go land, land here, actually, but this is the next best thing, I guess. Let me get in for four. Trespasser, sure. Wow, that's no good. Um, boy, do I hate this, but I gotta do it. And since we didn't get any lands, I think I'm just getting rid of Urobrask here. And then maybe hoping to draw land so we can steal a shield right here. That is not a shield. Right. It's a lot less exciting to steal. Yeah. Okay then. Just attacking. All right. And now they have an extra foundry. That's bad news. Crown. Sure. All right. We're going to kill that. And now they have no color mana open. Hey, we found a thing. Okay. Now, here's an interesting thing. If I thought I was willing to gamble on drawing a land, I could actually... Furnish Rain's our own creature. So these will be four. They'll deal damage. We'll get a treasure. And then we'd be able to do it again with the adversary. But I don't think we can gamble that. But it's a neat idea of something you could do. Kind of a rare circumstance.
All right, bonus of five. I guess in theory, because this gives plus two, I could have also just stolen their creature there. These would have been two, four, because we only dealt four. They were at nines. So we'd have done two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we wouldn't have killed them, but they'd have been at one. That's interesting to think about. This is doing a whole lot of nothing. Okay. I mean, you know, just doing what we can here. Man, opponent can block a swift spear. Yeah, activate a foundry, pump a foundry, so you have a 3-3. Three, three. That's the correct play. I should have used the furnace reins on an adversary. Oh. Really? I mean, I guess if you were going to go to one anyway. But that, that was a total surprise. Huh. Well, okay, I guess that's just going to do it. That's very anticlimactic. Been stuck on land the whole time, but I guess it worked. All right, let's do it. I kind of want to open with Spell Spear here. I think I'm going to. And like, you know, they have something to do with it. They have something to do with it. Oh, that's kind of hot. Okay, we'll go with this. I mean, they're probably just going to play Brotherhoods in next turn anyway, but yeah, you know. Still got to try. Voltage search, sure. Alright, maybe they're not going to do that. Because they probably would have just taken two there, but who knows. Maybe they just have a lot of removal and they're just really trying to conserve their life total. Spell Spirit, you gone, friend. Mountain is uh, not the answer we were looking for, but not a completely wrong one either. All right, opponent's at eight. Kind of at five. Chromos Shark. All right. Shoot the opponent down to five. And then play land and attack with everything. All right, that works. Cool. I mean, I guess this works. Uh, just as I say that, we're probably up against a domain deck. <laughs> Let's see what we can have happen here. I mean, you know, there is a plus side to this. Like, we do have Furnace Reigns, so if we get to a point where they are able to get uh, Atraxa, we would be able to just attack them for seven quickly in the air. So we can maybe hang our hat on that if it comes to it. Um, I'm going to go with this. I just don't want to give up, like, both Kenras here. Oh, I guess we didn't have to worry about it. Okay, that works. Okay, let's see what's up. Ooh. 
Ooh, yeah, we're gonna go with this anyway. Thought about playing the Commando Face Kakazan first, but it's not gonna change that much for us. Matter of fact, I'd argue that it changed virtually nothing for us. Okay, that makes sense. Discards two cards. Yeah, okay. I mean, we may be discarding two more anyway from the looks of things. Nope, we were not. I mean, I guess we attack? Huh. What kind of deck are you playing, opponents? Okay, I guess we go for it, right? I mean, there's probably a make disappear here, too. I don't know. Oh, big score. Oh, jeez. Well. We've got seven mana. Yep, exactly. Every time you see it, it's either going to be Breach or it's going to be uh, a Tali. Though they don't have anything good to Breach here. That worked out way better than it should have. Wow. Um, if we do this and we go looking, the only thing we could find is a play with fire, maybe. Um I won't stop fighting till the people are safe again. Okay, opponent just scoops. This was a little surprising because like don't get me wrong, like here I'm probably just gonna plus I'm either gonna search for Shandra or plus Shandra. I'm probably searching, see if I can find like the one mana creature or burn spell. If not, I'll just play Commando Face Cox on and we'll just call it good. Attack with Urbrask and Commando, probably leave back these dudes. Chandra's mostly safe. But the interesting thing about the opponent's deck is they played Breach, and they're playing a lot of things that you can't Breach. I mean, this is an interesting list of cards, but this looks more like the mid rangey control type deck, more than like, more. I would say more a control deck than a mid rangey deck. And that's usually where you want to have something like Breach, because then you get back Planeswalkers or some other big creature. But they don't really have that. They have Siphon Insight, which... Funny as it is, would have triggered this, but yeah. Weird game, but I'm not upset with that win. Mm, I guess because we're on the play, I'll keep this. Mostly because playing Feldens usually feels like somewhat of a safe call. Alright, there's an Urubras for Lator. Now, the only difference is that for some reason they don't have removal of Plane and Kenra when we're able to follow up with, like, either of these to build the board or destroy a creature. It's pretty nice because it's a little more damage, but because you have haste, you're also getting that damage in early, too. So let's see if they got a way to kill that. It does not appear they do. Okay, let's try Spell Spear. Also succeeds. Very weird. I'll say the opponent has to have something here, right? Or it's about to get real ugly. Um. Wow, is this where we just go in on Urbrask? Hmm. The problem is, I think they're just going to fight rigging next turn. And that's my real concern. And I don't know if we could kill them otherwise. So I think I'm going to go with this. And just say, here it is. If you're able to get me, you're able to get me. Alright, opponent blocks. That works. Oh, 
All right, they're at 11. That takes a little bit of pressure off. At least for a turn or two. I wouldn't mind getting that four damage in there, though. Would have been real nice, but take what we can get. All right, Ob. Uh, no attacks. Is this a one with nothing deck? I haven't seen anything else that puts counters yet, though. Oh, well, that would. But they also don't have a second red mana. Okay, here's where we go for it, right? Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Alright, we'll get in there with some 1-1s, one -one I guess. What else are we going to do? Oh, crap. I could have got in with our land, too. Gosh dang it. Yeah, getting in with the land would have been pretty big there. Yeah, because they'd have been at two, which would have had more removal that could have got them. Now, not so much. Especially if they sweep the board here. All right, Storm of the Festival, what do you get? Got any things that cost five or less? I'm assuming one is going to be one with nothing. Yep. <laughs> or uh, all will be one, sorry. But that's not going to finish us by any stretch. Yep. Managed to get there still. All right, so here's where we settled in at. We've got four Commando Faces Kakazan, four Monastery Swift Spear, four Play With Fire, three Bloodthirsty Adversary, three Felden, four Kenra Spell Spear, four Lightning Strike, three Rouse Reinforcements, three Reckless Impulse, two Chandra Dress to Kill, two Furnace Reigns, four Urabrask, 18 Mountain, one Sakinzen, and two Mishra's Foundry. Now, what I will say here is that I think we could have got away with one less Felden and maybe one more either Reckless Impulse or Rouse Reinforcements. I think would have been more than reasonable for this list to kind of give more play for Urabrask. But otherwise, yeah, this is probably it. But, I, but like I said, I think we want at least a fourth Reckless Impulse. So maybe even cutting just a Rouse Reinforcements. One or the other. I would leave it up to y'all. Either cut Rouse Reinforcements or cut a Felden. And make room for that extra Reckless Impulse, because I think it is pretty important if you want to play Urabrask. Alright, I will say that this deck's going to typically have the same problems that Mono Red usually has, right? You're trying not to let your opponents gain too much life. Worried about things like Obliterator, because you don't really have ways. Though, we do have Furnace Rain, so it's kind of nice if we could steal that from the opponent. But, things like that. Like, the typical problems. The other thing, too, I noticed, because I don't play a ton of Mono Red, was when playing this for this video... I had several opponents that just conceded on like turn two or three, even when I just had like a mediocre start. Some of them conceded when they just saw a Swift Spear. So it took a while for me to even get enough footage to make the video, as silly as that is. But overall, I think it's kind of a neat build. Urabrask is pretty interesting and it is a big first striker, which is nice. But the truth is, you're probably better off just playing a more streamlined mono red. But this is cool if you just want something different more interesting that's not just boring plain mono red but eh, it was cool i'm not upset i played it and i got a lot of wins with it so feel free to play it if you want to just uh, know you got to play a little more careful when you're trying to take advantage of urabras and now for today's card spotlight we're going to talk about apocalypse not the set the card this is one of the many cards that has a set with a similar name though they didn't come out in the same set which is kind of funny but the interesting thing about this card is it's almost like the red sweeper that nobody really plays that much. Partly, probably because of availability. It's definitely not because of cost, because these things aren't more than five or six bucks. But it is interesting that it actually removes all permanents from the game. So you get to keep your land and graveyards and stuff, but it's very interesting. For as powerful as the card is, it doesn't show up that much, and it actually is pretty cheap, which makes it sort of an anatom an anomaly. A little bit of an anomaly <laughs> in Commander. But yeah, just a cool card I figured I'd bring up if you didn't know it existed. Now, if Mono Red isn't your jam or you do like aggro decks and you're just looking for something a bit different, 
Check out this Gruel Haste deck that we played with the new Samet. It was a lot of fun and was actually pretty good. So that's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.